Hey everyone, Zach Delerno here with Sunrise Law Group, and today we're here to talk about the certain types of power of attorneys. Now, now keep in mind, a power of attorney, the general concept, is it's a legal document that grants an individual authority to act or make legal transa transactions on behalf of another person. Um, in the most basic context, if you had a power of attorney over your mother, you would have the ability to make decisions or sign documents on her behalf. You are her agent. Now, with all that said, when people ask me and say, Zach, I need a power of attorney, my question is, well, what type? There are different types of power of attorneys for different types of situations. Now, legally speaking, Louisiana actually only recognizes two actual types of power of attorneys. So there's what's called a general power of attorney and a special power of attorney. The general power of attorney grants general authority over anything. So broadly speaking, if you have a general power of attorney over your mother, you could go to the bank account, you could close out accounts, you could sign, generally speaking, documents on her behalf, you could act on her behalf and have that authority. However, there are specific enumerated situations in the civil code which spell out when you need an actual special power of attorney with a power of attorney specifically states that the agent has that power. So a key example would be a healthcare power of attorney. If someone has a general power of attorney, they still can't make medical decisions on behalf of an individual. They need an actual healthcare power of attorney that grants that special power. Um, a real estate power of attorney. For certain types of real estate transactions, you need a special power of attorney that grants for this legal property with the legal description, X has this authority. So the example I always use is if, if you were closing on a home, but you couldn't make closing, you were going out of town or something unforeseen was happening, you could grant and draw up a special power of attorney that would grant that power to your sibling to stand in on your behalf and execute the documents to execute that transaction. Uh, another example would be a corporate power of attorney. A lot of LLCs and corporations, they'll, they'll need a special power of attorney that says X has authority. Someone within the company has authority to sign and execute documents on behalf of the corporation's behalf. Again, you gotta, you gotta remember a corporation is just an entity. It's not a person. Someone, someone within that company has to have the authority to make decisions on behalf of the corporation. So that's at least sort of the types of power of attorneys. Uh, I'd like to at least turn our attention to also to durable and springy. So I hear this a lot, a lot of financial advisors, a lot of times they'll use, and I call this, this is common law language. They'll say, Zach, I need a durable power of attorney. Well, what's a, what's a durable power of attorney? We don't actually use that language in Louisiana. I mean, that language is included in the general power of attorney, but durable just means it lasts indefinitely. So if you had a power of attorney over your mother upon her losing capacity, if a physician certified that she no longer had the capacity to make decisions on her behalf, you would have a general power attorney over her, and according to the language, it could be durable, which means it lasts indefinitely. It's durable until her death, as opposed to what's called a springing power of attorney, which springs into effect upon a certain event or occurrence. So back to my real estate power of attorney example, if closing is on X date, then we would say that this power of attorney springs into the action. The authority for the agent springs uh, into action on that specific date, and it wouldn't last. It would, it would be a, a time period where it's cut off. It's not durable. The person couldn't run around and make these transactions for the person. So it's, it's good to know. And again, this language is including, depending on the different types, you would include whether it's going to be a durable or a springing power of attorney for healthcare decisions or real estate. Generally, it's durable for healthcare. But these are the different types of power of attorneys and the different types of situations where you might need to make it durable or springy. So again, if you have any questions, I hope that helped you out. Please feel free to reach out to Sunrise Law Group and we can certainly walk you through what type of power of attorney you might need and when you might need it. Thank you.